Lawyers for Liberty said the failure by the police to investigate Amna Youth Chief Dr. Akmal Saleh over his Facebook post showing him wielding a traditional Japanese sword because no reports were lodged points to selective prosecution. In a statement, LFL's director, Zaid Malik, said it is an abdication of duty by the police whose primary statutory function is to preserve and protect public order. He said under Section 3, Bracket 3 of the Police Act, the police have the duty to maintain law and order, preserve the peace and apprehend offenders. He added that as such, the police cannot choose to enforce the law in one case and turn a blind eye to another. Elaborating, Zayed said that there is nothing in the law that states that the police investigative power begins only upon a report being lodged. He said it is an irresponsible position to take as it is the duty of the police to investigate any crime when they become aware of it and the inflammatory Facebook post has been national news. Zayed added, in fact, it is common for the police themselves to make the police report to initiate an investigation. He questioned why ordinary members of the public have been arrested and swiftly charged for any alleged controversial comments made on social media, while politicians like Akmal can get away scot-free by doing the same. Akmal's post dated March 14, one day after the discovery of socks bearing the word Allah being sold at a KK Mart outlet, was captioned, quote, No matter what, we will not waver from our stance. Better to die standing then live kneeling. At the time, he had called for the implementation of a single-stream education system, sparking heated debates over vernacular schools. His first comment on the KKMAT issue came a day after, on March 15, when he expressed dissatisfaction with the convenience store chain's apology and called for a boycott.